please accept our our humble obeisances. All glories to Shila Prabhupada. Thank you so much for for joining us one more time. Thank you so much. Vancha kalpa tarubya scha kripa sindhu vyeva cha patitanam pavane bhyo vaishnave bhyo namo namaha. Thank you. I'm happy to be here. How can I serve? We are so very happy for you to be here with us one more time. Uh, we would, uh, uh, if you were, uh, sorry, <laughs> if you would be willing to sing a bhajan and, and after that give the lecture uh, at around 6.15 when our translator, Rina Tamataji, uh, comes. Okay. I never did a kirtan over Zoom, so I don't know how it's going <laughs> to come out. <laughs> so, how many devotees are with you right now in the ISKCON, in the Rieka temple? It's only the four of us here. Hmm. And everybody else is over Zoom because uh, we have uh, a lockdown right now. Oh, okay. Nika, so, so we are very much, uh, you know. Uh, uh, yeah, in the media. Okay. Um, all right. So uh, I'll try to sing. I'm not known for my, uh, you know singing but I'll try to sing something let me get my cartels out maybe I don't know maybe cartels may not work on a, a zoom because they might be too loud but anyway I'll just sing I'll sing one bhajan uh, which is written by Srila Bhakti Vinod Thakur it's called uh, Nama Kirtan, and uh, devotees know it as Yeso Mati Nandana. So I'll sing that bhajan. And if there's a response from everyone, that would make it uh, wonderful. Of course, the respond everyone should respond in their own areas because if it comes through, it'll it may not be so synchronized, and so we might get responses at different levels so everyone can uh, keep their um, audios off and respond in their own areas and I'll try to sing Yaso Mati Nandana Brajabadam Jamuna tatta 
tatchara gopi prasanno hara jamun tatchara gopi prasanno hara rasa rasik kripa moha rasa rasik kripa moha shri radavallava vrindavanam natapara shri radavallava vrindavanam natapara bhakti vinoda sraya bhakti vinoda sraya yaso mati nandana rajavara Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare Govinda Madhava Navanita Taskaram Jamuna Tattachara Gopi Vasano Haram Sri Radha Vallabha Vrindavana Nattavara Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Go, Hare Go, Hare Go, Go, Hare Go, Nittai Go, Hare Go, Sumati Nandana, Rajabara Nagara, Goku Ramjana. Khan. It's a beautiful song composed by Srila Bhakti Vinota Kaur describing the different pastimes and the names connected with Krishna and his Leelas in Sri Vrindavan. Um, it's one of the favorite bhajans of Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Maharaj, who just before departing the world requested that particular bhajan to be sung to him as he was departing the world. It's deep in the mood of Braj, and it is so sweet as it describes Krishna's wonderful and most uh, exciting pastimes in Sri Vrindavan. <laughs> Okay, so we are at 6.05 right now. Should we begin our class or should we wait? We will have to wait until our translator, Vinata Mataji, comes on. Oh, okay. Vinata. Mm -hmm. um, Let me see. I just to clarify, I was requested, I think by Malati Mama, to speak on the importance of uh, temple, temple worship, the temple as a place for devotees to come together to practice Krishna consciousness and to inspire each other um, 
I think that was the. I can translate. The particular. Well, Vinata Mataji uh, is not here. So. Is she, is she, how close away? How close is she? Is anybody tracking her or where she is? <laughs> uh, we told her to come at 6 15. So, so she will join at 6 15. Oh, through the Zoom. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, okay. I can start translating for the Croatian devotees until then. So, may I ask, what is your name? My name is Tanya. Tanya. Okay. My, my obeisance is to Tanya. Yeah. My my humble obeisance is to you, Maharaj. Okay, so I'm going to read a particular verse from the Srimad Bhagavatam. And it's from the seventh canto. That's 14th chapter, mm -hmm. uh, text number 29. Bhagavatama, poglavlje, i. Could you re repeat the number of the verse? Verse 29 from the 14th chapter. Uh, Okay, so I'll just read. It's a, it's a little bit of a long purport, but um, maybe if you have the verse in front of you, you can easily translate. Mm -hmm. It's 7, 14, 29. Mm -hmm. We will get it now. I'm going to return in a minute. I just need to secure my eyeglasses. <laughs> Okay, so what I'll do is just read the translation and then you can follow me and read the Croatian. I will hmm? translate it directly because 
we don't have the second part of the seventh uh, canto, unfortunately. Oh, okay. <clears throat> All right, so I'll, uh, I'll try to read um, kind of, like, I'll read the, uh, if I read the whole translation, would that be easy enough to translate? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I will have to translate. Yes. Mm -hmm. I mean, just tell me if it's too long. Auspicious indeed are the places where there is a temple of the Supreme Personality of Godhead, Krishna. Uh, uh, in which he is duly worshipped and also the places where there flows the celebrated sacred rivers mentioned in the Puranas. Uh, tamo gdje se Krishna dostojno uh, slavi. Također ona mjesta na kojima protiču sve te rijeke spomenute u Puranama. Uh, the supplementary Vedic literatures. U dodatnim vedskim spisima. Anything spiritually done there is certainly very effective. Bilo koja duhovna praksa koja se radi na tim mjestima je sigurno vrlo... Okay, purport by Srila Prabhupada. There are many atheists who oppose the worship of the deity of the Supreme Personality of Godhead in the temple. Postoji puno ateista koji se protive uh, slavljeni uh, Boga u hramu. In this verse, however, it is authoritatively stated that any place where the deity is worshipped is transcendental. U ovom se stihu uh, navodi sa druge strane da je bilo koje mjesto na kojem se uh, provodi obožavanje uh, božanstava transcendentalno. It does not belong to the material world. Ne pripada materijalnom svijetu. It is also said that the forest is in the mode of goodness. Također kažu da je i šuma u modu, u uh, guni vrline. And therefore, those who want to cultivate spiritual life are advised to go to the forest. Iz toga oni koji žele slijediti duhovni put uh, dobivaju savjet da, da odu u šumu. But one should not go to the forest simply to live like a monkey. Nitko ne bi trebao otići u šumu i živjeti kao majmu. Uh, sorry, Maharaj. But, but, one should, yeah, but one should not go to the forest simply to live like a monkey. Uh, Maharaj, I think Vinata Mataji is here. So, okay. so she will take over. So we are reading from the second can, uh, for, from the seventh canto, uh, 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 26th chapter. 20, uh, 14th chapter, 29th verse. 14th. Mm -hmm. Okay, Vinata, are you there? Yes, yes. Yes, yes, I'm here. I just went to find the book. So okay. what was that? Seven, seven canto? Seven fourteen twenty nine. Seven fourteen. Okay. Twenty nine. Okay, I got this. Okay, do you have it in Croatia? Yes, kind of Serbo Croatian something. Yes. Okay, so um, I started reading the purport. I got about seven or eight lines. So uh, I guess I should continue for there. Do you, want, do you want me to start all the whole thing over? No, no, please, you continue. I will catch it up. Okay. It says monkeys and other ferocious animals also live in the forest, but a person who goes to the forest for spiritual culture, culture must accept the lotus feet of the Supreme Personality of Godhead as shelter. 
Majmuni i druge divlje životinje također žive u šumi, ali onaj tko ode u šumu da bi njegovao duhovnu kulturu mora prihvatiti lotus na stopala svevišnje božanske osobe kao svoje utočište. One should not be satisfied simply to go to the forest. One may take shelter of the supreme personality of Godhead. Ne bi trebao biti zadovoljan jednostavno s time da ode u šumu. Mora uzeti utočište lotusnih stopala svevišnje božanske osobe. In this age, therefore, since it's impossible to go to the forest for spiritual culture, one is recommended to live in the temple community as a devotee. U ovom dobu stoga, budući je nemoguće otići u šumu da bi se njegovao duhovni život, osobi se preporučuje da živi u hramu kao bakta, redovno obožava božanstvo, slijedi regulativne načela i tako pretvori mjesto u Vajkuntu. The forest may be in the it may be in goodness, the cities and villages in passion and the brothels, hotels and restaurants in ignorance. But when one lives in the temple community, he lives in Vaikunta. Šuma može biti u vrlini, gradovi i sela u strasti, a javne kuće, hoteli i restorani u neznanju, ali kada živimo u hramu, živimo u Vaikunti. Therefore it is said here, Sreya Sampadam, it is the best, most auspicious place. Zato je ovdje rečeno, Sreya Sampadam, to je najbolje, najpovoljnije mjesto. In many places throughout the world we are constructing communities to give shelter to devotees and worship the deity in the temple. Širom svijeta u mnogim mjestima gradimo zajednice da bismo pružili utočište baktama i obožavali božanstvo u hramu. The temple, the deity cannot be worshipped except by devotees. Temple worshippers who fail to give importance to the devotees are third class. Božanstvo mogu obožavati samo bakte. Hramski obožavaoci koji ne pridaju značaj baktama su treći razredni. The Kanista Adhikaris in the lower stage of spiritual life, as stated, are a person who is faithfully engaged in worship of the deity in the temple, but does not know how to behave towards devotees or people in general, is called a Prakritta Bhakta or Kanista Adhikari. Kaj ništa Adhikari je objašnjeno je, to su oni koji vrlo vjerno obožavaju božanstvo u hramu, ali ne znaju kako se ponašati prema baktama ili ljudima uopće, nazivaju se prakrita bakte ili ka ništa adikariji. Therefore, in the temple there must be the deity of the Lord, and the Lord should be worshipped by the devotees. Zato se u hramu mora nalaziti božanstvo gospodina, koga trebaju obožavati bakte. This combination of the devotees and the deities creates a first class transcendental place. Taj spoj bakta i božanstva pretvara hram u prvorazredno transcendentalno mjesto. Aside from this, if a grihasta devotee worships the shalagram shila or the form of the deity at home, his home also becomes a very great place. Osim toga, ako bakta grihasta obožava shalagram shilu ili oblik božanstva kod kuće, njegov dom također postaje veliko mjesto. It is therefore customary for members of the three higher classes, Brahmins, Kshatriyas and Vaishyap, to worship the Shalagram Shila or small deities of Radha and Krishna or Sita Ram in each and every home. Zato su pripadnici tri viša staleža, Brahmane, Kshatriya i Vaishyap, imali običaj da u svakoj kući obožavaju Shalagram Shilu ili malo božanstvo Radha Krishna ili Sita Rame. This makes everything auspicious. To je učinilo sve povoljnim. But people have now given up deity worship. Ali danas su ljudi odbacili obožavanje božanstva. Men in general have become modernized and are consequently indulgent in all sorts of sinful activities and therefore they are extremely unhappy. Ljudi su prihvatili suvremeni način života i s toga se upuštaju u sve vrste griješnih dijela te su zato svi jako nesretni. According to Vedic civilization, therefore, the holy places of pilgrims are considered most sacred, and still there are hundreds and thousands of holy places like Jagannath Puri, Vrindavan, Hardwar, Rameshwar, Prayag, and Mathura. Prema Vedskoj civilizaciji, sve ta mjesta hodučašća smatraju se najsvetijim. I još uvijek postoje stotine i tisuće svetih mjesta kao što su Jagannath Puri, Vrindavan, Hardwar, Rameshwar, Prayag i Mathura. 
India is a place for worshiping or cultivating spiritual life. India je mjesto za obožavanje ili njegovanje duhovnog života. The Krishna conscious movement invites everyone from all over the world without discrimination as to cast or create to, be, to come to its centers and cultivate spiritual life perfectly. Pokret svjesnosti Krishna poziva svakoga iz cijelog svijeta bez obzira na razlike u kasti ili vjeroispovijesti da posjeti naše centre i savršeno njeguje duhovni život. Namaste Saraswati Deve, Gauravani Pacharine Nirvisesa Sunya Vadi, Pasyatya De Satarine, Panchakalpa, Tarubis Chakripa Sindhu Veda Japatitanam, Pavane Bhil, Vaishnave Bhil Namahonda Maha, Jaisi Krishna, Jaitanya, Prabhu Nityananda, Sri Advaita Gadadara, Sivasari, Gaur, Bhakta Vrinda, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. So this verse illustrates the importance of the deity, the worship of the deity, and the place of pilgrimage known as the temple of the Lord. U ovoj šloki naglašava se važnost božanstva, obožavanja božanstva i mjesta hodočašća poznatog kao gospodinov hram. Now I should like to clarify, based on Srila Prabhupada's instructions, that the temple is not simply a place for deity worship. Trebao bih pojasniti na temelju pravopodovih uputa da hram nije mjesto u kojem se odvija samo obožavanje božanstva. It's a place where community amongst devotees can develop. To je mjesto koje pomaže da se razvije zajednica bhakta. If for regular attendance, in the temple and engaging in the activities of temple worship are fundamental to help us develop a spiritual community. To je redovni dolazak u hram i uključivanje u obožavanje božanstava, ono što nam pomaže da, što je od suštinske važnosti, da možemo razviti svoju zajednicu bakta. Temple is not simply a place where a few people reside and a few people worship. It is meant for the whole community to take part. Hram nije samo mjesto u kojem živi par ljudi i par ljudi obožava, nego je to mjesto u kojem bi trebala sudjelovat cijela zajednica. People can come, people can learn about Krishna consciousness, they can associate with devotees who are also doing the same. Ljudi mogu doći, naučiti o svjesnosti Krišna, družiti se sa sabaktama koji to isto rade. And it's a place where um, one can hear about the practice of devotional service and learn how to apply that knowledge in one's life. I to je mjesto gdje osoba može čuti o predanom služenju, naučiti kako se to radi i kako se to primjenjuje u svom životu. So Prabhupada in a few statements, and he's made these statements quite direct, he says the temples are not simply meant for deity worship, they are actually educational centers where we learn about Krishna, the process of devotion to Krishna, develop community based on the activities and ultimately take part in the activities of the temple. Robert je objasnio da na više mjesta da hramovi nisu samo mjesta gdje se samo obožava božanstvo, već su to obrazovni centri u koje ljudi mogu doći kako bi naučili o tome o predanom služenju, kako se to događa kako se sudjeluje u zajednici i kako se sudjeluje aktivnostima u hramu. Unfortunately, in the land of India where temples have flourished for many thousands and thousands of years, even now people are losing interest in going to the temples and the temples um, okay, I'll stop there. 
Nažalost i u Indiji u kojoj se već tisućama godina obožavaju božanstva u hramu, ljudi su postupno izgubili želju da pohađaju te hramove. The temples are being run by people who are making a business out of temple worship simply to collect funds from the people who come. A ljude danas tamo često vode osobe koje su zainteresirane samo za izvuć dobit od toga od tih posjetitelja koji dolaze u hram. Except for the few major temples sprinkled throughout India, most of the temples now are places as Sri Prabhupada said where everything goes on including activities that are sinful. Osim nekoliko velikih hramova na različitim mjestima u Indiji, većina drugih hramova su mjesta u kojima se odvijaju svakovake aktivnosti kao što je Sri Prabhupad rekao čak i griješne. So one of Sri Prabhupad's uh, parts of his movement in establishing Krishna consciousness to to reestablish deity worship and reestablish the real meaning and importance of temple worship. Tako da je jedan dio zadaće pravopadovog pokreta da ponovno uvede obožavanje božanstava i da na pravi način to obožavanje božanstava ustanovi. And he established temples all over the world as we can see. Pokazujući koje je pravo značenje obožavanja božanstava i zbog toga je ustanovio, otvorio hramove diljem svijeta, kao što možemo vidjeti. Temple is not simply a building, but it's, a, it's actually a transcendental place where the worship of the Lord goes on as the main activity. Hram nije samo zgrada, već je transcendentalno mjesto u kojem se kao glavna aktivnost odvija obožavanje gospodina. It's also a place where one can escape from the, the harsh realities of the material energy and enter into the spiritual atmosphere. To je također mjesto na koje čovjek može naći duhovnu, duhovno okruženje i na taj način uteći iz grubih uh, uvjeta materialnog svijeta. So if I use the example, they're like oases in the desert. <laughs> Pravopad je te hramove znao nazivati oazama u pustinji. And they're not part of the material world. A one nisu dio materialnog svijeta. Although it may look like, in many cases, like any other building within the environment, still it is completely different in the sense that it is not part of the material world. Iako se na prvi pogled mogu da imati kao bilo koja druga zgrada u materialnom okruženju, on hramovi se u potpunosti razlikuju od toga. Alpha gave the example of spiritual embassy. Pravo pa je dao primjer duhovne ambasade. Just like in any country there are embassies of other countries that exist within that country. U zemlji u nekoj zemlji postoje ambasade različitih drugih zemalja. For instance, say you are in Croatia and you enter into the embassy of Slovenia that is situated in Croatia, you are now in Slovenia. <laughs> Na primjer, ako živite u Hrvatskoj i odete u slovensku ambasadu u Hrvatskoj, kad uđete u tu zgradu, onda ste u Sloveniji. So the particular embassy designates the atmosphere of that place. <laughs> Svaka pojedina ambasada prenosi atmosferu tog mjesta koje predstavlja. When we come to the temple, we are in the spiritual atmosphere. We are no longer in the material energy. A kad dođemo u hram, onda smo u duhovnom okruženju. Više nismo u materialnoj energiji. That's why Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, when he established his whole process of Krishna consciousness, he emphasized two things and that is the worship of the deity and the, the, the living in holy places. Tako je gospodin Čeitanja kad je uspostavio svoj pokret naglašavao dvije stvari obožavanje božanstva i življenje na svetom mjestu. Along with chanting Hare Krishna Maha Mantra, hearing regularly Srimad Bhagavatam and association with other Vaishnavas. Zajedno sa mantranjem Hare Krishna Maha Mantre, redovnim slušanjem Šimad Bhagavatama i druženjem sa Vaišnamama. So, as devotees, we should see that this temple that we have within our vicinity 
is a very special place. To bakte trebali bismo uočiti da je taj hram koji se nalazi u našoj blizini jedno jako posebno mjesto. Under normal conditions when everything is what we say established nicely, one should regularly not just on Sunday or on festival days, but regularly you should visit the temple, engage in some of the activities of the temple and specifically come to hear the discourses on Srimad Bhagavatam and on Bhagavad Gita. Normalnim okolnostima čovjek bi trebao bakta, bi trebao redovno, ne samo nedjeljom ili na festival, već redovito dolaziti u hram i naročito se uključiti u slušanje, nešto učiniti tamo neku službu i naročito se uključiti u slušanje predavanja našim ad Bhagavatam i Bhagavad Gita. Along with the benefit that this provides, it also inspires those who live in the temple, who are managing the temple, who take care of the deities. They will get more and more association and they will get more and more opportunities to engage devotees in devotional service. And that way the whole community starts to expand. To donosi dobrobit onima koji to čine, ali ujedno ohrabruje i one koji žive u hramu i koji rukovode hramom i daje im priliku da te bakte uključuju sve više i više u predano služenje, te se na taj način širi i razvija cijela zajednica. It's so important that we keep this mood of temple worship prominent. Dakle, je važno da održimo to istaknuto raspoloženje obožavanja u hramu. Because if we fail to and we start neglecting the temples or don't take the opportunities, then gradually the temple starts to go down. And then eventually, in some cases, we can even lose the temple if we don't see it as a community affair and not just the affair of a few devotees who are managing the activities. Jer ako se tako ne ponašamo, ako ne iskoristimo tu priliku, može se dogoditi da se stvari odvijaju u tom smjeru, da na posljedku čak i izgubimo taj hram, jer ga nismo vidjeli kao nešto što je važno za cijelu zajednicu, već kao nešto što je bitno samo za tih par ljudi koji tu žive ili rukovode time. Božanstvo je jako milostiv očitovanje Svevišnjeg gospodina. Merciful in the sense that the Lord comes in his deity form simply to accept the service of his devotees. Milostivo očitovanje u smislu da se gospodin pojavljuje u tom obliku kao božanstvo samo zato da bi prihvatio službu svojih pakta. He agrees to take the position of being cared for and worshipped by his devotees. On se slaže da stane u položaj, da se njegovi bakte brinu za njega i da ga obožavaju. To je sve skupa samo iz njegove samilosti. And Srila Prabhupada knew that, as he said, that I could have began Krishna consciousness by just propagating the chanting of the Hare Krishna Maha Mantra, but devotees and people in general needed deity worship in order to purify themselves so they could chant the Hare Krishna Maha Mantra. Prabhupada je objasnio da je mogao razviti taj pokret svjesnosti Krišne samo na temelju mantranja Hare Krishna Maha Mantra, međutim, da bi se ljudi pročistili, da bi mogli mantrati, neophodno im je obožavanje božanstava. So this helps the devotees to attain to the mode of goodness and then in the mode of goodness then it becomes natural and what we say spontaneous to chant Hare Krishna which is ultimately the Yuga Dharma the means for self-realization in this age. Obožavanje pomaže baktama da dođu u gunu vrline i da im onda mantranje Hare Krišna mantre bude normalno ili spontano, što i jest mantranje i jest Yuga Dharma za ovo doba. Although deity worship is not the Yuga Dharma, it has been established as being very essentially 
a part of the supportive uh, activities of devotional service, which leads to devotees purifying their chanting and coming to the stage of uh, full Krishna consciousness. Iako obožavanje božanstva nije yuga dharma, ono pomaže bhaktama da se pročiste, da se postupno razviju do potpune svjesnosti Krishna. So on the practical level, every devotee who is connected with the community, either directly or indirectly, should think, how can I serve the temple, how can I serve the deities? <laughs> Tako da bi uh, svaki bakta koji je povezan sa hramom trebao razmišljati o tome uh, kako da pomogne tu, kako da služi božanstva. And those who are managing the temple, those who live in the temple, they should always try to have programs where devotees can come and hear about the Lord and have activities available where they can do they can provide services for anyone who comes. A oni koji rukovode hramom trebaju osigurati da uvijek postoje neki programi na koje vakte mogu doći i slušati o Krišni te da nađu načina kako da svakom daju mogućnost da obavi neku službu za Krišnu. And that way the community will grow and devotees get to know each other more and more and then by that by that association and by hearing more and more our Krishna consciousness expands. Na taj način se razvija zajednica i raste i pomoću tog društva i sve većeg slušanja o Krišni razvija se i naša svjesnost Krišne. And in the Vedic culture every major place within the the city confounds and the ancient Vedic culture was always the main place within the community was the temple. U vedskoj kulturi uvijek je u pojedinim dijelovima grada postojalo neko značajno mjesto u kojem je zajednica organizirala hram. And we there's so many other activities that are needed to be provided by the temple to assist the community in developing relationships on different levels specifically in educating children. Onda ima i puno drugih aktivnosti koje hram može organizirati kako bi pomogao zajednici na različitim područjima, naročito se to odnosi na područje obrazovanja djece, odgoja djece. So Srila Prabhupada's vision for the temple was the foundation for for everything we do in Krishna consciousness. I Prabhupada je hram vidio kao temelj za sve što radimo u svjesnosti Krishna. And not simply a place we go once in a while just to get away from where we are. <laughs> a ne samo mjesto na koje odemo s vremena na vrijeme kako bismo se makli od tamo gdje već jesmo. It's, it's a place that is dynamic gives education, gives opportunities for service and creates community. Jesto, hram treba biti dinamično mjesto koje daje priliku za obrazovanje, priliku za služenje i stvara zajednicu. So each and every devotee can think, what can I offer to the temple to help develop that atmosphere? Svaki pojedini bakta može za sebe razmisliti što on osobno može ponuditi uh, hramu da bi pomogao razviti tu viziju. And those who are living in a temple, managing the temple, should always think how can we develop outreach and different programs to attract more and more people, devotees to come to the temple. Mm-hmm. A oni koji žive u hramu i koji menadžiraju hram, trebaju razmišljati o tome kako organizirati sve više programa propovjedačkih i programa kojima će pružiti nešto interesantno za bakte koji žive izvan hrama. But the problem seems to be when there's only a few people to manage the temple, it becomes the main thing and it's hard to uh, expand the activities of the temple unless more and more devotees voluntarily come forth and see, wow, this is a place where I can uh, find everything I need spiritually and also develop the, the friendship and the community that is part of Krishna consciousness. Ali problem je kad samo par bakta menadžira taj hram, 
jer trebalo bi se pojaviti sve više bakta koji otkrivaju to mjesto kao mjesto na kojem će naći sve što im je potrebno za razvoj svjesnosti Krišne, gdje mogu doprinjeti i odakle se može razviti zajednica. So these are some of the simple things that are the basic principles of temple worship and how, how we as individuals can increase our Krishna consciousness and especially develop community because community develop is so essential for... Nekoliko osnovnih tvari, stvari koji se temelje na obožavanju božanstava i govore o tome kako mi kao pojedinci možemo razviti svoju svjesnost Krišne ali isto tako i kako možemo razviti zajednicu, jer je razvoj zajednice od suštinske važnosti. Community development is the strength of our practice of devotion and service. Razvoj zajednice je snaga našeg prakticiranja predanog služenja. Keeping Krishna in the center and developing friendly and loving relationships with other Vaishnavas. Držati Krišnu u središtu i razviti prijateljske odnose s drugim vajšnavama pune ljubavi. So we have to see where we are and what we can do to improve the whole atmosphere of the temple and the activities of our individual activities in Krishna consciousness. Trebamo vidjeti gdje smo i kako možemo unaprijediti cjelokupnu atmosferu u kramu i svoje osobne aktivnosti u svjesnosti Krišne. And the sad part is we don't take advantage and if we don't uh, come forward we could also lose the opportunity of the temple. Tužni dio priče je da ako ne iskoristimo tu priliku i ako ne istupimo onda možemo izgubiti tu, tu, taj hram. And that means that we are struggling without the support of others and that makes Krishna consciousness practically impossible. <laughs> to znači da, da se borimo za opstanak praktički bez podrške drugih, što čini svjesnost Krišne praktički nemogućem. Nemogućom. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll end there. There's much more we can say about temple worship, but I think I try to cover the essential principles. So if there's any discussion, we can open it up. Ja ću tu stati. Mislim, o božavanju božanstva u hramu bi se moglo još više toga reći, ali mislim da je ovo dovoljno za sad. Ako sad možemo otvoriti za pitanja, ako netko želi diskutirati na tu temu, sad je vrijeme za to. Um, we need your volume. Your volume. Unmute. Yeah, unmute. Uh, can you hear us now? Yeah. Yes. Thank you so much, Maharaj, for a wonderful lecture. Uh, dear devotees, if anyone has any questions, please uh, raise your hand or uh, <laughs> unmute yourself and, uh, and ask freely. Ok, da ja tamo da još i prevedem, dragi bakice, ako je netko ima kako pitanje, dignite ruku ili se unmutajte i slobodno pitajte. Vinata, Mataji, please say something. Just give you anything you would like to say. Not necessarily a question, but something, some realization or something on the subject. I really don't know how to manage the temple. <laughs> never did it and would never like to do it. But it is definitely nice when my experience is when there are devotees who are interested in uh, learning science of Krishna consciousness and they want to get some um, systematic education, even if they are only few, that creates a very vibrant and very very enlivening atmosphere and that kind of an exchange 
I personally like really that nourishes me in Krishna consciousness. Yeah, it only takes uh, a few serious people to get everything moving, and then that and that atmosphere will generate itself. Yeah, maybe I should translate or. Yeah. Ja, ja sam Maharaj je htio da ja nešto kažem, pa sam rekla da ja ne znam ništa o temple managementu, niti bih voljela se tim baviti, ali iz mog iskustva vidim da kad postoji u hramu barem nekoliko bakta koji su zainteresirani za sistematično naučiti znanost o Krišni i onda kad se takva skupina formira i takva prijenost znanja događa, da to stvori jako lijepu atmosferu koja je jako donosi puno okrabrenja u duhovnom životu i hrane za napredak. And the other thing is that if there are just a few devotees who can collaborate nicely together, if they start something, some program, just thinking about Krishna's pleasure, not about personal this and that, then that, that is also a thing that uh, attracts um, people outside and also devotees around that because they are dedicated to that whatever it is either harinam or this and that they are really like into it and they are and others can perceive how they are being fed by that activity how that is giving them strength and joy and and then even a yeah. small group of devotees can like make the the difference because sometimes we think we have to wait for so many people to join and there are these questions, we go to this service and that where are the others, why don't they join? But instead of that, I think it's better to think we are here, we want to do it for the pleasure of the Lord, how to do it best so that he's satisfied and that with that meditation, the whole thing becomes really spiritual and attracts both the outsiders and the devotees. It also attracts the mercy of the Lord with that, with that mood. When the Lord's mercy comes, then things really move quickly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Ako postoji samo i mala grupa bakta koji su složni da naprave neku službu zajedno i ne obaziru se na to gdje su drugi i zašto nisu tu i šta oni rade, nego žele to napraviti za vršeno zadovoljstvo, onda takva spiritualna motivacija privlači ljude izvana i ta sreća koju ono osjećaju u tom, toj službi vidljiva je i baktama i onda i bakte inspirira i Maharaj kaže to isto tako privlači milost Krišna i on onda vrlo lako daje milost. Yeah, and basically the, the, whole, the whole foundation for Krishna consciousness is bringing the devotees together. And the temple is the is the place where we can do that. Temel cijele svjesnosti Krishna je zbližavanje bakta, a hram je mjesto gdje to možemo napraviti. So we have a raised hand from Devananda Pandit Prabhu. Okay. Hare Krishna, all glories to Shri Prabhupada, all glories to the Guru Maharaj. Please accept my humble obeisances and the Sadasa Lotus feet. The question is, um, in our local temple, there are no installed deities, but uh, we have images of Shri Prabhupada, Panchatatva, Tulesi Devi, Narasimha, Shad Goswami, which are worshipped by devotees. Uh, there are no permanent residents in the temple. Uh, we have Sunday festival once a week and morning program once a week. Uh, there are also festive programs on the main Vaishnava holidays. Uh, recently, a devotee said uh, that it is wrong to call our center as a temple because a temple is a place where deity worship is performed according to temple standards. We can be called Namahata or something else. Uh, please clarify this questions. question. Thank you. Pitanje je da u našem hramu nema ustoličenih božanstava, nego su slike, parampara i tulsi devi božanstava i nema bakta koji žive stalno u hramu, 
programa imamo jedan put na tjedan i jedan put u nedjelju i za vajšnjanske praznike i onda je neki bakta rekao da ne možemo tako mjesto nazivati hramom jer da se tu ne odvija stalno obožavanje ustoličenih božanstava nego da se možemo zvati na Mahata centrum ili nečim takvim i zamolio je Mahrača da razjasni tu situaciju. Um, Devananda Pandit Prabhu, so what he, the question, yes, that person who was given his understanding, I believe is correct. Deity worship and temple is synonymous. So temple actually means a place where the deity resides and there was regular worship going on. Mislim so da je taj... you, I'm sorry, I was just going to say what you do have is a Namhat center, yes. Mm-hmm. Mislim da je taj bakta koji je izrazio svoje mišljenje u pravu i da je uistinu to namahata centar jer da je hramom se može nazvati ono mjesto u kojem božanstvo stanuje i obožava se. Now, maybe transforming that or into a temple would be the uh, next stage where that would bring more activity and more devotees together. So I would think Well, how you could do that, how to, how to move it forward to where, where it actually becomes a temple. Sljedeći stadij bi možda bio kako to mjesto preobraziti u stvarno u hram, mjesto u kojem božanstvo stanuje i obožava se, tako da bi trebalo o tome e, razmisliti kako ostvariti taj korak. Of course, the most important thing in terms of our spiritual progress is the chanting of the Hare Krishna Mahatma mantra. Naravno, najvažnija stvar po pitanju našeg duhovnog napisa je mantra nje Hare Krishna mantra. But the temple with deities attracts more and more people to come. And when that is there, then we can teach people the importance of chanting and teach them the subject matters about Krishna consciousness. Ali hram sa božanstvima privlači sve više i više ljudi i onda kad oni na temelju toga dođu, onda možemo ih podučiti o tome koliko je važno mantranje i možemo ih podučiti svjesnosti Krišne. So temple can be just a deity of Srila Prabhupada and Gornitai and then, then you have a nice temple. Gornitai's worship can be kept simply but regularly and that will attract more people. O, hram može se sastojati po pitanju božanstava samo od pravopadovog murtija i e, gornitaja. E, obožavanje gornitaja može biti vrlo jednostavno, ali redovno i na taj način možeš imati lijep hram. Ok, let's... Anything else? <laughs> We have two more raised hands on uh, Zoom and one question on Facebook. So first of all, uh, Matja Prabhu, please unmute yourself. Hare Krishna Mahamal Obeisances. Glorious to Srila Prabhupada. Glorious to you, Maharaj. Can you hear me? We can hear you well. Okay, thank you. Maharaj, in Madhurya Kadambini, uh, Srila Vishwanatha Chakravat Thakur speaks about uh, Vishwa Mandir or a temple in the heart. And some other scriptures also mention the same. Would you like to say something about establishing the temple in the heart? Well, sometimes oh. the tedah. Okay, translate that. <laughs> um, Uh, pa mogu. U Madure Kadambini i, i nekim drugim spisima govori se o, koristi se izraz Bishra Mandir, odnosno hram u srcu. I moje pitanje za Maharadža je da kaže nešto više o tome kako postaviti, uspostaviti hram u srcu. Ok. So, yeah, uh, not everybody can just simply establish a temple in the heart. <laughs> That's why we have temples in the physical sense to bring people up to a certain standard. 
where they can practice Krishna consciousness regularly and then reach, start to develop that purification of heart where the heart actually becomes the mandir or the place of worship because Krishna resides within the heart also. Ne može baš svatko odmah ustanoviti taj hram u srcu. Zato imamo te hramove na fizičkoj ravni u kojima se ljudi obučavaju i postupno kroz aktivnosti pročišćavaju da njegovo srce postane tako mjesto u kojem će se Krišna prebivati kao u hramu. Temples, uh, the physical temple is a place where we can preach and bring people in. That's, that's the that's the understanding that Prabhupada gave us as opposed to what was established previously as simply a place where people would come and see the deity, get some prasadam and go home. Fizički hram je mjesto u koje ljudi mogu doći i mogu doznat nešto o svjesnosti Krišne gdje im možemo propovjedati. I to je način na koji Prabhupad vidio hramove za razliku od onog što su oni inače tradicionalno bili i samo mjesta gdje su se obožavala božanstva, gdje se može vidjeti božanstvo i dobiti prasadam i otići kući. Yeah, so I'm not saying that temple worship is the only way to worship, but it's the foundation for developing the, the, the entire society. Ne kažem da je obožavanje u hramu jedini način na koji se može obožavati, ali je temelj razvitka cijelog društva. And how many people can just simply worship in the heart? That's a very elevated state of purification. Koliko ljudi ima koji mogu obožavati samo u srcu? Da bi se to moglo raditi, potrebno je jako duboko pročišćenje. To je vrlo uzvišen položaj. Because we teach that the same deity that you're worshiping in the temple is also situated in the heart of all of the entities. Mi onda podučavamo da je to isto božanstvo koje obožavamo u hramu također se nalazi u srcu svih živih bića. And that is real deity worship. To je pravo obožavanje božanstava. But we have a tendency in our neophyte stages to make distinctions between the deity the the Lord in the heart and the activities of devotional service we categorize it in different ways. Na početku imamo razmišljamo o tome kako je predano služenje aktivnosti prenog služenja se razlikuju od gospodina u srcu svih živih pića i od gospodina na altaru. So Prabhupada actually said I could have simply went underneath the tree and chanted Hare Krishna, but how many people would have actually come? <laughs> That's why I've established these temples. Does that help? <laughs> yes, definitely. Thank you. That's a very glorious explanation um, to, um, how to say it in English, to point into the direction of preaching. It's one of the four pillars of Srila Prabhupada's movement. So that should never be forgotten. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Hvala, to je izvrtno objašnjenje koje pokazuje u smjeru propovjedanja koje je jedno od četiri stupa šla propovedovog pokreta i što nikad ne smijemo zaboraviti. Lavanja Mataji. Hare Krishna, Guru Maharaj, please accept my humble obeisances. All rest to Shila Prabhupada, all rest to your holiness. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Thank you so much, Guru Maharaj, uh, for the nice class today. Um, so I just want to follow up on this question, uh, on this topic. Um, like as a neophyte, uh, we see as a neophyte, I, we see the distinction between the uh, home um, uh, home temple and uh, the actual temple where uh, the deities are installed by the acharyas. So, um, so how to uh, how to see them same, Guru Maharaj? Like, uh, like even though we are very far away for, from temple. Um, we may not get much association from 
um, the temple or uh, I may not able to go every time to do some service there um, and like that. So I was, I'm, I'm just concerned that uh, whether I'm just, uh, um, I don't know how to say, but uh, uh, I hope you understood. I don't know how to say it, good manage, but uh, I'm a little confused. Like um, I'm very far away from temple. I may not able to go regularly to the temple, but I want to, um, I don't want to miss temple. So um, I don't know, good manager. Oh, yeah, therefore it's important to establish at your home some form of worship that you can actually create the, the as Prabhupada says here in this purport we were reading, that the home it can also be a temple where the deity is and worship, but to develop community, which is essential for expanding Krishna consciousness, there's where we get both uh, opportunities to associate, develop relationships with other devotees, and get to uh, centralize our connection with each other through the main deity, which is the deity in the local temple. So, Mark, yes. Yeah, okay, go ahead, please. Yeah. Mataji je pitala da ona živi daleko od hrama i da ne može svakodnevno odlaziti u hram i služiti tamo i da kao početnik vidi razliku između hrama u kući i hrama u, gdje su ačarije u stoličili požanstvo i ne bi htjela nešto propustiti, ali u toj situaciji ne zna što da napravi. Maharaj je onda odgovorio da, da, da postoji, brao kad spominje u komentaru koji smo čitali, da možemo svoju kuću pretvoriti u hram i da je to isto u redu svoj dom, ali da uh, hram, taj drugi, ne u našem domu, nego hram u kojem dolaze svi bakte i zajednice je od suštinske važnosti za razvoj zajednice, jer omogućava baktama da se nalaze i da svoje odnose um, razvijaju sa Krišnom u centru. Hmm. So, as much as you can, given your situation, uh, try to visit the temple and take part in the activities, but you can also, you should also, not all could, but should also establish worship in the home. U svojoj konkretnoj situaciji, što više možeš, pokušaj otići u hram i tamo obaviti neku službu, ali istovremeno trebaš kod kuće ustanoviti hram isto tako u svom domu. Thank you, Gurmaj. So, um, so whenever I get a chance, uh, I should go to the temple and uh, do some service there. Uh, that's what you are recommending, Gurmaj. You can regulate that. Doesn't that mean whenever you get a chance, from time to time, mm -hmm. uh, take part in the activities, go and do some services, mm -hmm. and also meet other devotees and develop more and more Krishna conscious friendship, which is the basis for our happiness in Krishna consciousness. Mm -hmm. Mateć je rekla da li je onda suština Maharadžavog upute da kad god ima priliku ode u hram i tamo napravi neku službu, Maharadž je rekao da može to i regulirati, tako da odlazi redovno i da kad god može istovremeno razvija prijateljstvo sa baktama jer je to od suštinske važnosti za našu sreću u svjesnosti Krišne. As particularly in your situation, I know where you're located, and that deity in that temple was installed by Srila Prabhupada in 1972. <laughs> it's, one of the more, it's one of the more dynamic temples in America. <laughs> Jedan od najdinamičnijih hramova u Americi. Yeah, Sri Sri Radha Kalachanji is very merciful and uh, he brought us uh, um, from Charlotte to Dallas, Guru Maharaj. So um, we are very fortunate to have uh, um, his darshan uh, occasionally. But now due to COVID, it's all locked down. But uh, now, uh, now they are opening a little bit the temple for major events. Um, so that's... Uh, that's uh, yeah, try to take advantage and you'll see it's not a it's not a loss of time it's the best use of time
Thank you, Guru Maharaj. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Thank you, Vinita Mataji. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. We have one more question on Facebook uh, from Paktin uh, Lori Anna. She says she has a problem when she visits the temple uh, because she cannot control her mind. And then she makes a parad in her mind because she lacks spiritual eyes and just see, sees the material side of things and she doesn't know what to do. Netko sa Facebooka pita što da radi jer kad dođe u hram radi aparade u svom umu jer nema duhovne oči i onda vidi nedostatke i što da radi. Well, you may want to take a shower but you don't have any soap but still you still have some of water so take advantage of the water anyway and there's some benefit. Može se želiš otuširati, ali nemaš sapuna, ali bar imaš vodu i onda barem se otuširao iz pomoć vode i od toga će biti koristi. So, by going to the temple, um, try to develop the proper consciousness by understanding that this is a special place and whatever happens here is under the control of the Supreme Lord. Mm -hmm. Odlaskom u hram pokušaj razviti pravu svijest tako da razumiješ da je to vrlo posebno mjesto i što god se tamo događa je pod kontrolom Svevišnjeg gospodina. Yeah, so it may take some time before your consciousness becomes transformed, but if you stay away, this is like saying, well, the medicine might be slow, so I don't want to take it, so I'll just stay sick. That's to take the medicine according to how much you can take and then gradually gradually uh, become you know changed in consciousness because the atmosphere itself will provide that opportunity treba vremena dok se svijest pročisti i to bi ako odbiješ odlaziti u hram zbog tog razloga to je kao da kažeš da nećeš uzimat lijek zbog toga jer jako sporo djeluje zato potrebno je neko vrijeme dok se dogodi ta promjena svijesti i zato je potrebno odlaziti tamo u onolikoj mjeri ukoliko je to moguće ili povoljno očekujući da će se svijest pod utjecajem atmosfere tog mjesta postupno pročistiti And we say Shastra Chakshus means seeing through the eye of scripture and not seeing through our material eye. Zatim govorimo o nečemu što se zove Shastra Chakshus, što znači da promatramo svijet oko sebe kroz oči spisa, a ne kroz svoje materialne oči. In other words, we see, we have an understanding of what is reality when we take the principles given to us by scripture and apply that to our consciousness. Drugim rečima na temelju principa koje učimo iz spisa promatramo stvarnost oko sebe primjenjujući ih oko sebe i na svoju svijest. Just like just like it says the holy name of Krishna is Krishna himself in full. Kao što se kaže da je sve to ime sam Krishna i u zvučnom obliku. So How, how much do we actually understand that the holy name is actually Krishna himself and his full manifestation as Krishna? Koliko zapravo razumijemo da je sve to ime sam Krishna i to je svoje potpuno očitovanje? Well, we don't we may not have much understanding, we may have some, but if we keep chanting, then gradually that understanding becomes stronger and more clear. Možda to baš ne razumijemo najbolje, možda tek imamo neko malo razumijevanje od toga, ali ako nastavimo mantrat, onda će nam to postati sve više i više jasno. So one of the remedies you can apply to help your consciousness is when you come to the temple, offer to do some service. As soon as you're engaged in service, your consciousness will, uh, will get out of the uh, material uh, mode of seeing things in an ordinary way. Jednu stvar koju možeš učiniti da 
si pomogneš u toj situaciji je da čim dođeš u hram ponudiš se da napraviš neku službu. Jer na taj način kroz služenje izaći ćeš iz tog raspoloženja u kojem sve oko sebe vidiš materialnim očima. And I can recommend something directly, just like we, when Prabhupada started the movement, he encouraged that the temple authorities should engage all the new people to clean the temple. Mogu nešto konkretno savjetovati. Kao što je šla Prabhupada na početku da uputu rukovoditeljima hrama da sve nove ljude uključe u čišćenje hrama. The temple is compared to the heart. Hram se uspoređuje sa srcem. Cleaning the Lord's temple means cleaning your own heart. Čišćenje gospodinovog hrama znači da čistiš svoje srce. And it's not just a nice saying, it actually works. When you clean the temple, you'll clean the temple of your own heart. Amen. I to nije samo lijepa izjava, već stvar stvarno funkcionira. Kad čistiš hram, čistiš i hram svog srca. So give it a try. Pokušaj, isprobaj. It works. Funkcionira. Mala ti mala would like to ask a question. I will be her her voice. So she asks, Sometimes devotees would like to uh, do some service, but uh, they uh, do it in their own way, not following the standards, uh, the prescribed standards uh, of service. What can we uh, do in si situations <laughs> like that? Ponekad je bakte htjeli napraviti službu, ali hoće to napraviti na svoj način, bez da slijede standarde koji postoje za obavljanje takve službe. Pita mala ti mala, što u takvoj situaciji? Well, the standards have been established to teach us that this is the best way to perform the service. Standardi su postavljeni kako bi nas podučili da je to najbolji način za obavljanje te službe. By accepting the standards, we we can accept that this is the best way that this service may be performed. Prihvaćanjem standarda prihvaćamo da je to najbolji način na koji se ta služba može obaviti. So it's a matter of it's just a matter of understanding that these standards are not just rules and regulations that have been applied, but they have been proven that this is how the service is meant to be executed. Tu se radi samo o tome da razumijemo da ta pravila i propisi nisu tu izmišljena zbog nečega, nego da ona služe tom, ona, ona govore o tome da je to najbolji način kako treba, kako se može ta služba obaviti. Yeah, it's just like if you go to a, if you go to a, a uh, university and you apply for the activities of taking various courses you can you have to follow the teacher you have to follow the rules of the institution you have to do the homework you have to go to the lessons you have to learn exactly what has been given to you and not that you can create something separate and call it education on a primer ako se upišeš na fakulteti počneš studirati, moraš prihvatiti pravila te institucije i trebaš učiti te stvari koje oni žele da nauče na onaj način kao što su oni predvidjeli i trebaš ići na ispit i već sve te vježbe obaviti kako već treba, jer je to način na koji su oni predvidjeli da se ti obrazuješ. Ne možeš raditi nešto po svome i to nazivati obrazovanje. Yeah, temple worship is part of a shastra called Pancharakri Vidi. Pancharakri Vidi is created by Sri Narada Muni, a, a, great, a great devotee of the Lord who is on the highest spiritual platform. So those principles and the execution of the principles, and when they're followed, they give us great spiritual benefit. <laughs> Obožavanje božanstva je dio Pančaratri Tividija kojeg je ustanovio Narada Muni vrlo uzvišeni bakta na najvišem stupnju duhovnog razvitka. I zato kada slijedimo ta pravila i te propise, te principe koje su izloženi za obožavanje božanstva, od toga imamo najveću duhovnu dobrobit.
Okay. Thank you so much, Maharaj. Uh, I don't think we have any more questions, uh, but we have one comment from our Vrindavan Biharini Mataji. Uh, and I think it's a perfect comment, comment to end the class. So uh, she would like to say uh, thank you so much, Maharaj, for the lecture. And thank you for your ongoing support for our uh, community and temple all these years. Uh, your servant, Vrindavan Biharini Devi Dasi. Jai Ho. My obeisances to the head Pajari, Hare Krishna. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Maharaj, uh, before we close, I would like to one more time uh, thank you from, uh, thank you on behalf of, of all devotees uh, who are present on Zoom and who, will, uh, who are watching on Facebook and uh, who will watch the program later. Thank you so much for being here and thank you for giving us your time. We hope this will become a tradition. <laughs> Good. I would like to thank Mother Vinata because whenever I ha have Mother Vinata as my translator, I know it's going to be the best communication for those who are hearing. So thank you very much, Mother Vinata, for always being expert and whatever you do in Krishna conscious. <laughs> Thank, Thank you so much, Vinata. Thank you. Thank you for engaging me in the service. Thank you. Thank you. Hare Krishna. <laughs> I hope to visit you someday. I heard you have a wonderful place. <laughs> With a <the> cook. <laughs> <laughs> That's the best part. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thank you. We okay, have to wait for this COVID to clear up. For oh, this. Slowly things will increase. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I want to thank all the devotees for attending and being uh, part of this program and to the organizers for organizing it and best wishes to all the devotees and their practice of Krishna consciousness. Jagannath Baladev and Subhadra our wonderful intervention into the lives of the devotees in that area of Croatia. Please take advantage of their association and come and offer service to their lotus feet. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Hare Krishna. Chandra Mauli Swami Ki. Thank you, Guru Maharaj. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Guru Maharaj. Thank you, Thank you, Guru Maharaj. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Oh, glory. Devananda Prabhu. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna, Guru Maharaj. Thank you. Srinivas. Dharma Vatsal. Who else do we have up there? So many devotees. We have Katrina, we have Vrindavan Bihari, we have Dolores, Mahasimha, Tanana, Ivana. Who else do we have? We have Rohini and Mahatma and Mahima, Rudolf, Susana, Vishwapavani, Nitya Kishori, all the way from Germany. Sumitra. Sumitra is the mother of so many. Uh, amazing Ram Lila Bhaktas there. She is Sumitra. Vrindavan Dasi, Elena, Natasya, Suda, Manjuali, and Lakshmi from London. Thank you all. Uh, Akshita, and if I missed anybody, please just yell out your name. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. We'll see you again soon. Thank you very much. Hare Krishna.